Since bursting onto the scene in November of 2022, ChatGPT has been making consistent updates. Today, I'm going to take a look at one of the latest features, a direct integration with Google Drive. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the workflow company. At X-Ray, we use AI and workflow automation to help our members save time. You can learn more about X-Ray and our services at our website, xray.tech. For more AI and automation news and tutorials every single week, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a new way to save time. In this video, I'm going to quickly explore the new Google Drive integration in ChatGPT and show you what it can do. Let's get started. OpenAI recently added this Google Drive integration to ChatGPT. At X-Ray, we saw it pop up in our account in just the last few weeks. The Google Drive integration is now available to all ChatGPT users, including users with free plans. Here's what the integration does. It allows you to upload a file directly from Google Drive into your conversations with ChatGPT. Once you've uploaded the file, you can ask ChatGPT to do whatever you want with the file. Summarize it, translate it, describe it, rewrite it as an epic poem in the style of Gilgamesh. You know, the normal stuff. Let's see it in action. We're going to upload a Google Doc and send it to ChatGPT with a prompt. First, click on this attachments icon next to the input box in ChatGPT. You'll be able to click on add from Google Drive. So we're gonna do that now, and a familiar modal comes up where we can search all of Google Drive. I'm just gonna search here, example meeting notes, and here we can see our example meeting notes comes up. If you do click on that search button, you'll get much less precise results. So it's best to just wait for the dropdown result. Now we just need to wait a moment for the file to load into ChatGPT. And I'll give it a simple prompt. Summarize these meeting notes and provide a list of action items. And as always, ChatGPT is quickly giving us a thorough response to our prompt. Let's try this again, except this time we're going to search for a blog post. So again, click on that attachment, add from Google Drive, and we're going to search for our blog post called Build Automations in Make with AI. There it is. Now we're going to have it translate the blog post into Spanish. And right away, ChatGPT begins meticulously translating every word into Spanish. Attaching a file from Google Drive works just like uploading a file from your computer. It attaches to the message so ChatGPT can analyze it. This isn't a mind-blowing update or anything, but it definitely adds some real convenience if you do most of your work in Drive. It's a lot quicker to attach a file directly than to open it up in Drive, download it to your computer, and re-upload it to ChatGPT. The Google Drive integration isn't limited to just text docs. You can also use it to upload and analyze image files too. Let's see what that looks like now. We're gonna add from Google Drive, just like we did before, and search for an image. Selling a services company.png. Now a simple prompt, and ChatGPT is taking a moment to analyze the image before it's giving its answer. This is actually leveraging DALI in the background. And it gives us a shockingly accurate description of everything that's in this image. Note that ChatGPT can't edit or create files in Google Drive. It also can't search for files for you. For instance, I'll ask ChatGPT, make a copy of the meeting notes doc that I shared with you earlier. And here's what it says. ChatGPT makes a few attempts to accommodate my request and ultimately gives me a little code snippet that doesn't really work. I've tried getting ChatGPT to copy, edit, or create files a few times with this new integration, and while its answers vary, it ultimately just can't do any of that. All it can do is access and analyze the files you select directly. For many of us, ChatGPT has become an essential part of our daily work, so integrations with apps like Google Drive are a natural fit. It's not an earth-shattering change, but it's a nice little update to be able to upload files directly from Drive into ChatGPT. Let us know in the comments below, what additions and updates would you like to see in ChatGPT? Are you more interested in third-party integrations or improvements to the baseline model? And how do you use ChatGPT to streamline your work today? I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about low-code automation and workflow design, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can find all those links in the resources board down below. And as always, find your focus and stay in flow.